Hello everybody, this is Moni with Flowers by the Bunch. So today I need to make an arrangement that's going to go to a business. So it's a pretty large arrangement. Um, this container is a ceramic type container. It's pretty heavy. Actually, it's probably more of a concrete container because with this um, with this foam in here, it's really pretty heavy. This is a block and a half of fresh floral foam. It has been um, soaked in fresh water and it's been taped into this container really well. It's going out for delivery. To cover up the mechanics of the tape, I'm going to take some of this Spanish moss and I'm gonna just come around the edges of this container. And that's gonna help me to disguise that green tape. Now, I will have pretty greens and all of that, but I just want to make sure that it's it's not seen. So, I have just taken that moth and I've tucked it all the way around the container. Now, set this to the side over here. I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna start out by greening out my container or my foam. I'm gonna take a little bit of leather leaf and I'm gonna come all the way around this foam. It doesn't really need a whole lot of this leather leaf, but I'm really trying to keep my moss in place. So I'm just taking just a little bit of this greenery. And I'm coming all the way around the container. I also have some really pretty greenery. Um, and flowers that I'm going to put in. So this is just to kind of give me a little bit of a base. Okay, next I'm going to start out with a little bit of this pompous grass and it, between it and the moss, I have a mess. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to use this pompous grass for my height, okay? It's pompous grass blooms is what it is. So we're going to give this arrangement some height. Okay, so we have got this just for our height, and then we are going to come in with some fresh flowers. Okay. So there we go with the pompous grass. So next we're gonna come in with some bells of Ireland. So this arrangement, they wanted reds and whites. And um, they said it was okay for us to use some green. So this is um, just a pretty bell, a pretty bells of Ireland. So I'm gonna take it, and I apologize that you can't see me, but I'm gonna take those bells and tuck them into the top of the arrangement for our height. Now, what I like to do, I'm going to slide this over so you can see me. So, whoops. What I like to do is I just pinch that tip right out of that bell, strip any blooms that fall too low, cut it, and tuck it right into that floral foam. Now, it's a preference whether you want to pinch that top, that tip out of that um, bell. I personally like it better um, pinched out, but that's completely preference. It's not necessary, but see how it has those leaves at the top? I just pinch those right out. Take my hydrangeas and I'm going to strip all of the leaves. I'm going to cut them at an angle and dip them in that quick dip. This is a hydrating solution that just keeps these hydrangeas hydrated. Now you remove these leaves because when the flower drinks the water, it wants to hydrate those leaves first. And so if you remove those leaves, then it goes straight to that head. And that's the important place that the water goes because it keeps that head of that flower hydrated. Okay, so I'm gonna take this hydrangea and I have added five hydrangeas to the orange. So 
they're all the way around in the arrangement. Okay, next we are going to come in with some red roses. And we've already wired these stems. Again, that's another preference. I just feel like when you wire the stems, it keeps the, um, the head straight. Um, that's really up to you. Here in our shop, we wire all the roses. pretty large heads. We're going to tuck that in there. I love this texture. It's just pretty. just happen to be that pretty bright red. They also call them coffee berries. I'm going to just take and strip off some of that foliage. Um, if the foliage looks bad, take it off. If it falls below the water line, you can take it off. Other than that, you can certainly leave it on. Well, I just broke it, so it's going to go low. <laughs> colors too. Um, I know I've talked about their colors, but they come in a peach, kind of a pink color, white, a green, a really pretty green, as green as the Bells of Ireland green, um, burgundies. So they're really nice and they're great for really all seasons. You can get them year round and they are such a great texture in an arrangement to me. They give you a little bit of a different texture. Okay, next we are going to come in with kangaroo paw. And I don't know if, if we have ever used kangaroo paw on a video before. But it's really an, a very fun um, fall um, foliage or fall type of, um, I don't know, stem. It, it is more like a pod to me. It looks more like a pod than it does a flower. But I do believe they consider it a blooming plant. Um, and the blooms would be these little, these little kangaroo paws. They're really fun. They come in, in different colors, more autumn colors, like this burgundy-ish red. They come in a orange and a yellow, kind of in a purpley color. But they're really great to work with. And I like them just because they're just different. Okay, there's the kangaroo paw. Next, we are going to come in with something called agonis. Agonis, or after dark, is kind of a feathery um, type of foliage. Um, and it really works great as a filler to me. It's a good added little filler. It gives movement to the arrangement. It's just pretty. Um, we get it a lot in the fall. We don't get it um, as often in the spring. And the Agonis is a California product, so um, I can't get it out of South America, which is where we get most of our flowers from. And so that's the reason we don't have it nearly as often as, as we do other things. But it's 
for me. It makes me happy. Okay, and then a little bit of seated eucalyptus. We're gonna come around that base, um, the container, and pop a little bit of this uke. And what that's gonna do is give us a little bit of a drip and it covers up any of that tape or any of the mechanics. Um, gives us a different texture, a different color, which I really, really like. And so all I'm doing is kind of lifting up my flowers and just tucking this deep into that foam. Um, the next greenery we have is, this is called um, Holly Fern. And if you'll look at it close, I'll show you in just a second. I've got one more little piece of this uke. Holly Fern looks a whole lot like a holly bush, the foliage on a holly bush. Um, but the great part about it is it, do it doesn't have the little, um, the little thorns that Holly has, but it looks a whole lot like Holly, and it's so pretty. And so we're going to add just a little bit of this in. I don't want to say this might be the first time I've ever really worked with um, Holly Fern, but I am very pleased, and I will certainly order it again. Okay, and we have one more flower that we're gonna add in, and I'll tell you the reason we are, I have waited until the very last to add it in is because it's the most fragile. We're going to add some white lilies to this arrangement. Okay, so there's all of our flowers except our lilies. Now, white lilies are extremely fragile. They'll get bumped and bruised pretty easily. So what we're gonna do is I went into last to put these in so that I didn't have to put any other um, foliage around it or flowers or anything like that. Because I'm really good at bruising or bumping those. So we tucked him in. It's very lovely though, it's pretty. So when you work with um, lilies and mums, large mums sometimes get bumped and bruised, um, it's, pro it's always best if you can wait and put those in last and then they're not gonna get bumped or bruised so easily. Now, I will say that I don't always do that right. I do not always wait until last because they're pretty and they're big and they fill up space and so it's kind of hard to wait until last. But if you can, go ahead and wait till last before you add those. All right guys, and there is our arrangement. So it's an all the way around arrangement. I've got flowers all the way around in this arrangement. Um, and it's really very pretty. We used roses and hydrangeas, lilies and Queen Anne's lace, some pompous grass, some kangaroo paw, some bells of Ireland, some berries, um, and lots of beautiful foliage. Guys, thank you so much for being here with me today. I hope you have a wonderful afternoon. If you have any questions or comments, please be sure to drop those down below. I'm happy to answer any questions you might have. Um, and if you like this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel. If you'll hit that little bell, it'll give you notifications and join us over there on Facebook. Um, we do videos every afternoon on Facebook if you like these videos. Guys, have a great day and we'll see you real soon.